Hey now, this is David. And this is Chris. And this is the Calling All Gamers <laughs> podcast. Theme song. week's episode we're gonna be talking about the recently released character cinder yes a long awaited character for season two pretty much the one character everybody wanted right away for yeah. uh pretty much from season one yeah and or all, all since ki2 believe it or not yeah and um and our thoughts on the uh, on age of voltron avengers yeah age of voltron well let's go on with the uh, cinder first Cinder, I Pyro, Pyro. Do, do you think they, they, they might have a voice sample in there? They should. What was it? Pyro, and the other one was they had two names. Cinder had two names, right? Pyro and something else. I uh, I don't know. Flare, flame, or I I just remember Pyro or Trailblazer. Was it was... Trailblazer? Yeah, I think it was Trailblazer. Trailblazer. We'll look it up. Something like that. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm. One character everybody wanted was uh, Cinder, uh, but the only thing he's just kind of a difficult character to use. I think the difficulty comes from the fact that her his moves don't get any priority. Actually, yeah, because when you do Trailblazer, sometimes they'll just tech grab you. It's they'll happened to me a lot. Uh, yeah, they'll tech grab you. They'll also like punch you out of it. I I fought this Jago previous. Pretty week. much can it has like a cancel window right away, right? Yeah. Yeah, any any fast puncher like Jago or TJ combos able to uh, hit you, hit you out of that maneuver, and a lot of people actually I see online use it to uh, get across the screen kind of fast. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. And uh, another, and his also I, I don't know what it, I don't know what it's called. It his flash kick doesn't seem to have any priority either. You expect it to have something similar with the. So a similar priority with like how Guile has his flash kick, but it doesn't seem to have any. Every, every time I try to pull it off, someone always hits me out of it and and it opens him up for a combo. Okay, yeah, I mean, the I I really like the the little orbs, the little flame things he throws. They're like grenades. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that 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 that, that move that moves out of those little uh, I call them lava balls. Yeah. I don't know. Or the Inferno, if you burn your opponent, and it, let's say if you burn them on the on the arms, and they like use the punch button, the flame gets uh, bigger, bigger, and, and then they, they get um, overtime damage, but you have to cash in that damage. So you have to do like a combo to like, you know. Yeah, and that would force your opponent to be a more uh, take a more defensive yeah. stance. However, um, I can't really find any really any big uh, offensive moves for cinder that i could utilize yet besides his ma magma balls and even those you know you know only have a limited time <laughs> in which you could set them off yeah it doesn't take a lot of damage but it, it kind of helps out for zoning hmm. although he he is turning out to be a character i like using yeah he's a fun character really fun he uh, and he talks a lot. That arrogant assholeness that he had from the first game, it does really... Ben Ferris. Yeah. That, that really does pass over into the, into this new uh, into this new generation, into this new era. I can't wait for the retro costume for him. It's going to be like KI1, but yeah. it's going to look cool. More, uh, more HD, you know, defined. I mean, like, redefined look, but just kind of a classic costume for... So I think I'll use that character, but I do like the colors he has. I really like the, like the lava one and the green one, and pretty much all his colors are pretty cool. Like there's no complaints from me. I haven't really checked out the accessories, but the colors are cool so far. Are accessories available yet, or? Yeah, there's accessories for um, Cinder. You just gotta unlock them. Uh, cool, cool. So what are, what are your overall thought, overall thoughts about him? Cinder is cool, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna get like. 
uh, they're going to adjust him on the next uh, update. So Yeah. Yeah. Uh, t tweak him out a little bit. Yeah. So that's how they they give Cinder to the you know you here you go, and then you figure out okay there's something wrong with him this part's broken fix this and then that's how you know they fix him. Yeah. The, yeah. The, my main issue though yeah my main issue is his priorities like I will, all right maybe his trailblazer doesn't that's need. Cool. I didn't even notice the cup of uh, Doctor Robotnik. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I use all of my songs, so be sure not to kick over that uh, cup. Um, no, I will. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the main tweak I would like to see is at least give his uh, his flash kick a, a more priority. Because, you know, if you're trapped in a corner, it's really hard to get out of it with, uh, with Cinder. I, I thought with the flash kick, if I do one flash kick, I can do another flash kick, but that's not the case. You can only do one, but then if you, there's sometimes when you do a flash kick and it does like a... Yeah, and then like an explosion, and then you could do another one. Yeah, but a, if, a pillar of a, a pillar of flame comes yeah. out of the ground. I but I don't know how to. Is that timed or is it yeah, like? The, it's a. Uh, it's actually uh, something. Um, you gotta watch out for. Like, there's two stages of Cinder. There's his basic. There's his basic basic stage where he's just like Cinder, and then there's another stage where his flames ignite even more. Like, there's more fire on him. Yeah. And that's when you could uh, do that. And that's that's when certain things happen, like those flames on his arms. Yeah. When he shoots that fl that when he shoots inferno? those fireball, the, his inferno. Yeah. When he shoots it at that stage, just that that's when he's the, that's when your opponent's limbs yeah. catch on fire. And then when you do the the, the flash kick, kick, the like the the pillar of flame comes out. See, when you do that, when you do a flash kick, and then the the pillar of flame comes out, you can do another flash kick. But if you just do a regular one, you can't time it to another one. I thought no. you could. I was trying to. Although it is possible if they're up really high. Yeah. I think you could pull off another one. But it is one of those characters we, we just have to practice with more. A lot, dude. Because online, you're going to... I lost already against like a couple of characters with uh, Cinder. But you're only going to get better with Cinder if you keep training. I'll tell you this. It's a lot easier to do Cinder than uh, Hasako. But Cinder's a lot more of a fun character to use, and it's cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you play the original KI, then you can kind of pick up and use Cinder. But it's not the same, but you can pick him up a little bit. Yeah, he's cool. a little bit easier to use in, in this one compared oh, yeah. to the first one. I just know, like, his Trailblazer and then, like, the kick in the first game, and that's it. All right, cool. Now, onward to our next subject, Age of Ultron. Oh, man. Awesome movie. We're going to try our very best to avoid spoilers. Spoiler free. Okay, so I'll just say I liked it way more than the first one. That's just R Really? Because I liked it as much as the first one. And that's saying a lot. Yeah. Um, I do believe Ultron is a better villain than Loki. Than Loki. I yeah, dude. He was a um, tyrannical bastard, dude. Yeah. He was just out to uh, pretty much. What was he trying to do? Just you know, start new humanity because every he thought humans were just scum and not worthy of anything, and started like a different race. And you're spoiling the movie right there, man. Ah, damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's in the comics, but I'm not gonna say uh, what happens. Well, let's be honest. I I was at the theater, mm -hmm. and um. All right, I guess I c it is kind of spoiler, but all right, I'm gonna say Thanos does appear. Yeah. In a movie. But um. But that's all I'm gonna say. But anyway, when Thanos appeared. That was uh, the coolest thing. Uh, that that was cool. Um, not gonna describe what happened. Yeah. But when Thanos appeared, everyone like these kids behind me. Yeah. They uh. They don't know who he was. They don't know who Thanos is? They don't know who Thanos is. Now, we got to understand now that these new fans of Marvel, they're not reading the comics. Or mm. if may, or maybe they're starting to read the comics. Or but they if, haven't read like... They haven't read like Infinity Gauntlet, Gauntlet yeah. or Infinity War or anything yeah. like that. So, so what I'm trying to say is that like, yeah, th these are new fans and um, saying that yeah, they could just be the comic. I mean, chances are they're probably not. Yeah. So, uh, for our fellow comic book fans out there that already knows what the hell's going on, uh, try not to spoil it for for fans out there. Because that main idea, the, 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 the main thing is that they're still Marvel fans. They still love the characters. 
They love uh, what they do, what they represent, their imagery, and, and so on and so forth. Er everyone could still relate to to Spider-Man because you know, you know, there've been people out there that've been the geeky nerd and oh, and does what and always does what, what what they feel is right. I feel like I could relate to the Hulk. I don't see it pissed off very often, man. No, but when I do, it's like, yeah. Oh, I pissed you off one time. All you ever do is just say shut up. <laughs> no, I'm a pretty fighty person, but not with you. But yeah, I can relate to the Hulk no more. Can't relate to Rob, uh, Tony Stark. Well, well none of us is million. Oh, unless you're an alcoholic. Or Cap. I guess I could kind of relate to Cap, because I've been a scrawny kid my entire life, and then out of nowhere... I think after high school, people started like ask me questions, look up to me. So, that's cool. <laughs> so I, that's how I could kind of relate to Cap. Yeah. You know, plus, I'm I'm a big patriot. I, I like America. And you're a Cap fan too, so. And I'm Cap. Yeah. I'm uh, I think I like. I'm an Iron Man fan. So I like Iron Man. Now, regarding Scarlet Witch and uh, Quicksilver. Sil Quicksilver. Yeah. Over, overall thoughts on them? Yeah. I think they're badass. And people were complaining about their... Uh, well, it's not a spoiler. People were complaining about their voice. Their Eastern European voice. But you got to think about it. That's where... Um, uh, well, they're really... Uh, it's Magneto's kids. And Magneto is from Eastern Europe. Is he from Poland? Yeah, so yeah. It's, you're, yeah, so, there you go. So yeah, it, there, it's like, yes, my name... But uh, that sounded like a Russian accent, but... They, they, they didn't sound like a Russian accent to me. It just sounded Eastern European to me. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it works. I like it. I thought Quicksilver was really cool. I thought Scarlet Witch was really cool and really hot. So <laughs> she was super awesome, dude. Uh, I, I think those characters are really cool, and I really uh, enjoy those characters. And I, I'm going to read more of Scarlet Witch because I really don't know as much about her. Just know that related um, to the kids of uh, Magneto. Yeah, and Magneto does not appear in the movie. Uh, no, if they had maybe the rights for... No, I don't think they still would even add Magneto during the Avengers. Because he's never really... He's not part of that. No, I, I don't think... Yeah, because I, I don't think the X-Men will work in the universe. However, though, I, I, anyone that's watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it looks like they're trying to sneak in the idea of mutants... Living, you know, in, um, in New York, in the, no, in the world, in the world. Okay. Yeah, they're they're hinting that there are people with something in them. Yeah. That gives them the potential to be special. Hint, hint. Yeah. So that they that, that, they, they didn't call them mutants in the. No, they, they can't because yeah. if they say that they could get sued by. Fox. And they couldn't. They couldn't use. Um, Adamant, uh, what is it? Adamani, adamantium. Adamantium. Adamant, sorry, adamantium. So they call it uh, biranium. By Bi 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 Which is the actual, which is like similar to it, right? Uh, yeah. That's I, another I word. That's so. what cap shield is made out of. Yeah. Well, I think from what I remember, uh, from what I remember, I, I don't know which comic book it was. His shield was a mixture of adamantium and vibranium. Yeah, so yeah, so that's what Ultron is is making. Um, his isn't Ultron made out of that somewhat or no? Uh, no, I think that the Vision's made out of that stuff. Oh, ba that's a cool character. Yeah, Vision's cool. Yeah, Vision's a cool I, character. Yeah, my brother didn't like how he looked. Or I how liked how he looked. Vision looked cool, dude. Yeah, I was impressed by the way it looked. Oh well, yeah, he's supposed to have a human look. Yeah. human look to him. I mean, they were gonna go. They weren't gonna go with the the comic look because it would have been like too. Too cheesy. They had to kind of like make it like for the movie. So you can't really have the same exact colors. I yeah. thought it looked. Yeah, awesome. and how the actor portrayed that indifference, uh, that kind of like data. Yeah. He, that that uh, that calm. He, he he's almost godlike in a way. Yeah, Vision's a really underrated character, but I always liked Vision. It's been one of my favorite characters too. Yeah, we're not spoiling anything, anything are we? No, I mean... Well, he I was in the trailer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, for people that don't know... Uh, I mean, you should know that Ultron did create Vision. Man, that's a spoiler right there. But that's all... Oh, whatever. Dude. Yeah. I'm not going to say how or anything like that. All right. Granted, it was in the comic book, yeah. but let's be honest, not a lot of people, people are reading read the, the comic, comic books. books. All right, so that's, an, that's enough of... Uh, I don't want to spoil anything else, but go watch the movie. Yeah. It, After but, that, then we're going to... Uh, I think I'm gonna go watch the movie again because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Easter eggs somehow. Yeah. I, I'm, I think I'm gonna go watch the movie with my glasses, 
Cause I, yeah, go watch it. Because that screen was at least 25 feet away. I, I, and past 15 feet, I start ha- everything starts to become blurry. Yeah, we're going to watch it again, and we're going to talk about it. And be like, okay, this one, we'll have more spoilers. We'll have spoilers. Yeah, much later, much later. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for hearing us out. Uh, yeah, and uh, I guess more podcasts coming up. I don't know. Other, yeah, and, other uh, topics that we're going to talk about. And get ready for our new series uh you know, talking about bullshit number two. Oh yeah, that's later. And I think I'm gonna put up a video of Chris eating a uh, a pastrami sandwich in front of uh in front of my computer. Oh okay, yeah, go for it. <laughs> All right, well. All right, thank you guys. Sayonara. Uh.